We are in Seattle for a team offsite, so you're gonna get to see how we plan our strategies as well as for an awesome offsite. <laughs> All right, so I thought we'd get the blood flowing first thing in the morning, so taking the team on a hike right now before we actually get into the actual work of the day, because I figure one, physical activity is really good for getting the brain pumping, and then two, as you can see, here with the team, and they're all hanging out, and so we'll see how it goes. Also, we should talk about why having an offsite is so important in today's day and age of remote work, where all these big tech companies a couple years ago made this mistake of sending everyone home rather than having them in person. And they've realized now since then that being in person is super important for two different things. Number one is for just building culture. And then number two is actually really, really critical for just getting good work done. And so there are two things I want you to take away from this offsite. Number one is how we creatively problem solve in person when we bring both of our teams together. And you'll see that through our strategy meeting. And then number two, which I think is actually the most important part about an offsite and why we spend so much money flying everyone in, is because that in-person connection that we facilitate through things like this hike, as well as our scavenger hunt that I'm super excited about for later today, are really, really critical for just having our team mesh together and just love working with each other. So I'll see you on the other side. All right, so we're about to start a Q3 strategy meeting and y'all are about to learn what an OKR is. Vitaly, what is an OKR? OKR stands for objective and uh, key results, and that's how we run the whole company. Basically, your objective is your North Star goal, and your key results are like how you actually hit that goal. So we'll put an example here, but like the objective can be like grow the company by 20% in terms of your sales, and then the key results are going to be like how you're actually tactically going to get there. And so the reason why we use this is because of uh, John Doerr, a really famous VC back in the day. This is how they built actually Google, and this is the goal setting system they use, and we have full intentions on being the next Google. So yeah. All right, let's kick off the meeting. So the whole point of what we're gonna to do today in this exercise is we always wanna start with a North Star of an objective. Can you guys do that? Basically, we need to set and agree on what we wanna do for Q3. And within that, we're then gonna have a couple of what we call key results or KRs, which are gonna feed down from that. Basically, what we wanna say is, if we wanna grow the company by X percent, what are the things that we need to accomplish in order to actually get there? And the fun of this and the rest of the meeting, what we'll do once we agree on what that objective is, is it'll flow down from here and we'll talk about how that actually relates to our creator success organization and support. It'll also rain down into our product and what we want to do there. And then lastly, how that all feeds into our creator community. And so what I want us to align on for this meeting is exactly what we want to do for our Q3 strategy through the lens of an OKR. Make sense? Yeah. All right, so we just finished our planning meeting, so I wanna debrief with you guys what actually just went down. So basically what you see in this meeting is all of our different team leads, including myself, actually going through and talking about how we did in Q2 and really making sure to do an honest reflection on what went well and also what didn't go so well and what our learnings were from that. Because then we take that and we use that to plan out our Q3, so our four looking goals, where this is really important for a team collaboration perspective and how we actually have the best answer and best solution possible, is when we lay out our Q3 goals, what you see is like, our team within and of itself, we're constantly pushing back on each other and really asking questions of like, are you sure that's the best way to think about it? Because how we see it is we're all a team building towards this one mission and we all wanna be on the best team possible and see all of us succeed independently, but also as a group. And so the only way you can do that is if you have a really open and honest environment where people are comfortable pushing back and giving criticism, but in a constructive way and also always with best intentions in mind. So to make this really concrete for you guys, I think we should call back to Alyssa's session where she was actually talking about creator success where when we think about our organization, our key insight is that our existing customers are actually our best salespeople. So the reason why Stan has grown so fast, we've grown from zero to now almost $4 million in recurring revenue in just a year and a half, is because of our organic word of mouth, because our customers love us so much. And so that's why Alyssa's organization is so important. So as we think about our company level objective of like, we want a 2x sign up growth, well then how have we grown so far? It's organically through our customers. So we need to make more of our customers even more successful and even more happy. And so what Alyssa was breaking down within her goals is that we actually have a lot of drop off in our initial 14 day free trial where a bunch of high quality customers who we know for a fact could be successful on Stan and could love Stan are actually dropping off. It's somewhere between 30 to 40% of our total ideal leads are actually coming in and not being successful on Stan where we're like, shoot, like these are people we could help. And so Alyssa's laid out basically a game plan of how she wants to first analyze the situation 
understand why that segment of our customer population isn't actually working out. And then now she's gonna put in place a game plan where we're all pushing around like, is this the best idea, what have you? And then we're all gonna support her in that to actually address that 30 to 40% of the population and actually make them successful. So that's how you set effective goals as a team, but you've gotta keep in mind that none of this matters unless you do one other thing, which is actually successfully execute as a team, which is why the whole second part of this offside plan is actually about just building teamwork and building connection between all of us. So I've done that through the lens of this really cheesy, amazing race style scavenger hunt that I've planned for us, where we're actually gonna all compete doing really corny, embarrassing things throughout downtown Seattle. So I will see you guys on the other side. I think it's gonna be really fun. All right, so. Scavenger hunt, are we excited? Yeah. yeah. So we have Team John. Hey. <laughs> All right, never <laughs> And then we have Team Vitaly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Team John. <laughs> so the rules of the scavenger hunt are simple. There are four or five tasks, I can't remember, but there's a couple tasks. We're gonna go through, you're gonna get to see all of downtown Seattle as part of this. Whoever finishes first wins. We can decide on a prize as we're driving, but the default one is whoever loses right now until we decide on a better one has to take the SAT. So that being said, the very first task of this amazing race is um, at a very special place in Seattle, Pike Place Market. And the very first task is that you have to do a street performance oh, in public gosh. and ask some random stranger to film you as you're doing it. All right, ready, set, go. <laughs> We could do like a stand-up routine, we could do an improv scene, we could just pretend to be an acapella group. Okay, the only thing that I can think of would be like the Macarena that we would all know. Yeah. <laughs> or we could do... What, that's so funny, we'd be like, sir, we're a professional, <laughs> sir, we're a professional hip-hop dance crew. Can you actually film us do this? If we're gonna sing a song, we could like improvise a dance, but we should all like sing the same song. If you want, can you try GPT then? Chat GPT idea? That's so funny. That's so engineering team of you guys. Wait. I'm gonna ask someone, all right. Hi, excuse me, could one of y'all help us by chance? We're uh, here, we're uh, we're, we're a professional dance group and we're just hoping to get like a really quick TikTok. Is that, a, is, is that something you can help with? Do you just, we have it on record already? Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna do a really quick dance. Okay. But we've been practicing it for a really long time. Okay. Right. It'll be quick or like two minutes? It literally, we're talking like 30 seconds. Okay. You ready? Macarena, wow. I'll see that in a minute. Hey, Macarena. You guys want to join ahead? Macarena. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. Wait, we gotta find the Starbucks. We gotta find the Starbucks. We're just running through the streets. Oh, this really long line. Do you think this is it? What is he doing? What is that sneaker doing? I was gonna offer to, to buy someone's coffee so they let us skip. Hi, question. Is there any chance that I could give you my credit card and buy you guys' coffees if you got a couple more? If we got a couple more coffees? Yeah. Sure. Cool. Awesome. I hope you guys don't run off with it. These are the homies. <laughs> Thank you. The condition is to check the coffee in order to pass it. So they're going to get the coffee before us. But if you can keep them away from drinking it. How are they going to get it first? We will hold the Lisa hostage and we will make sure that she doesn't get to drink it. <laughs> Yo, y'all are the homies. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's so kind of you. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Nice! Ship one for the team. <laughs> Chug it. <laughs> nice! Chugged. Next task is to make a logo of gum on the Seattle gum wall. So, we'll beat them. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. you. Take care. Got the gum. Got it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's not it's that gum. appealing. Hey guys. That's gross. <laughs> I'll see if we go farther down and I'll get touched. I'm going to do the dollar sign. First okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Alright, I want to finish it out. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Th
the Tetra guys and slide. Oh on. yeah, <laughs> Team Bunny. Team Bunny. <laughs> Team Bunny. Oh. All right, we did it. Let's get out of here. Oh wow! You gotta stretch it. Yeah, I gotta stretch it out. You just stretch. You just stretch it out. We're making like an, an S, you know. When you're done. Okay. This is the longest line that we've ever made. All right. Okay. Yeah! Good job. I would give you a high five, but your hands are probably gross now. We're off to the final step. We're going to the Space Needle, and the task is to take five creative photos. So as we round out this last step, and we're clearly going to smoke Vitaly's team, the whole context behind why we do stuff like this is actually one of our core values, which is spark joy. And the whole premise around sparking joy is like, you know, all of us work so hard. If we're going to work this hard, we, we basically, we might as well have fun. So that's the whole premise behind this. Um, I think it builds a lot of incredible teamwork and just like team kinship, but then also I think our customers also just really enjoy that we're actual human beings as well and we're not just robots trying to build a business. So anyways, we're going to go finish this out, beat Team Vitaly, and take it on the prize. <laughs> this actually looks really solid. Is it going to work? <laughs> has to be perfect, yeah. It was fun. It was a great experience. I really appreciated the, the CD touring while at it. Yeah. It was a great idea. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, John. All right. Well, cheers to the winners. Us.